This is the Fujinon XA20XS 8.5 Berm K3 ENG lens. This is a two-thirds inch bayonet mount lens made for the two-thirds inch sensor ENG cameras. Here I'm using it on a one-third inch Panasonic HPX370 using an MTF Services B4 two-thirds inch to one-third inch bayonet adapter. The K3 is a 20 time optical zoom with 2 time optical extender, giving it a zoom range of 8.5 to 170 millimeter equivalent at f stop 1.8 from 8.5 to 113 millimeter. It has an 82 millimeter thread for use with 82 millimeter filters. Today I'm going to show you sample footage and compare the image and focal length to the stock. Fujinon XT 17 times 4.5 BRM K14 lens that came with the camera kit. This is a 1 3rd inch bayonet 17 time optical zoom lens with no optical extender. Click the links in the description for more uh, spec information and to see pricing for each lens. Now let's take a look at each of the lenses in action. We're going to start off here with a wide angle shot from the K3 lens. This is about 20 yards from the courts. So I'll pan left here and pan right. This is all raw video. And this is full wide. Now I'm going to zoom in here. This is without the extender. And you can see how close you can get to the woman on the court with the K3 lens. We'll zoom all the way back out. Pan to the left side, zoom in to the other guy on the other side of the court. So this is a wide to super telephoto lens, that's how it's described. And so this is without the extender. We'll zoom back out. Now I turned on the extender and you can see where the length is zoomed out. But also when we zoom in here, we're gonna to get to see how tight you can really get with the lens. So despite being a good distance away, we can get good tight shots from a distance. Zoom back out, we'll zoom all the way in, and you'll notice how close he is. Can't even really follow him fully zoomed in. But here in a second we'll zoom back out and I'll give you a better idea of the zoom length with the optical extender turned on. So we're going to zoom in towards the car. This is no extender. There's the extender. Zoom all the way in to the front of that car. And then we're going to zoom back out. Turn off the extender. You can see how far away it was. It's actually further away than what it looks like in this footage because of the focal length of the zoom lens. One more time, zoom back in lock it down and you can see how tight you can get from a distance. This is the same shot using the K14 lens, the stock lens, 17 time optical zoom. This is full wide. You can tell a much wider field of view with that lens. However, it doesn't zoom near as far. So this is all the way in and again this lens does not have an optical two time extender. This is as far as you can get into to zoom in. Much different from the K3. But again it does it is a 4.5 millimeter equivalent fully zoomed out so you do get a wider field of view with that stock lens. I'm going to zoom back out here in just a moment and give you a sample. We're going to zoom in on the car from wide and you can see the difference on how far you can shoot from a distance using the K14 lens compared to the K3 lens. And here is another sample. This is the K14 lens at full wide. I'm going to zoom all the way into the bridge and that's as far as we can go. That is the K14 lens focal length shooting at this bridge. This is the same shot using the K3 lens and we're going to see with no extender how far we can zoom in. So there's the walkway. And we will zoom back out with the K3 lens here in just a moment. Now I'm going to turn on the two time optical extender. And we're going to zoom back in on the bridge. 
and you can see how tight the focus is extremely critical here you can fine tune it with the macro but this shows you how tight you can get in using the K3 lens one more sample here using the K3 lens got the Devon Tower I'm going to zoom all the way up to the Devon Tower no extender and you can get pretty close to the top of the tower we're going to turn on the extender and we're going to zoom back into the top of the Devon Tower and if there were window washers or people up there you'd be able to see them pretty good with this lens I'm going to zoom back out turn off the extender and there you go so this is a sample of what an interview would look like with the K3 lens and then here you can see with shooting with my iPhone you can see how far away you had to position your interview subject from the camera to be able to get this shot so a little bit further away definitely than the stock lens which I'm going to show you next so here is the same shot with the K14 lens same interview framing but here with the iPhone video you can see how much closer the interview subject is able to stand to the camera compared to the K3 lens so just something to keep in mind your interview subjects do have to stand further away from the camera using this lens. So that is just a overview and sample footage from the Fujinon XA20 XS 8.5 Berm K3 ENG lens. Again, link in the description for more specifics, um, specifications, and also pricing.